Treasurer Josh Frydenberg joins me now. Morning to you. So Labor was the clear winner Good morning, Nat. in the debate last night. Will the Prime Minister be able to claw back support with just over a week to go? Well, like you, I uh, watched the debate last night and I thought it was a civil debate. There was a few free character assessments, I suppose, on both sides, but it did focus on the principal issue at this election, which is who is best able to manage the economy. And the Prime Minister rightly pointed out the Leader of the Opposition uh, has no economic plan, uh, he didn't know the cash rate, he didn't know the unemployment rate, and now he's got a new thought bubble. Uh, and that is to, to increase wages uh, at the, the same price as infl at the same rate as inflation of 5.1 per cent. Um, and now he's starting to walk back from that because he realises that he doesn't have the mechanism to deliver it. Mm. Uh, so you can't run the economy, you can't run a $2.1 trillion economy one press conference at a time, which is what Anthony Albanese seems to want to do. Well, it sounds like he's doing well. What's happening here, Josh? You are the coalition, you are traditionally the party of business. And every poll for weeks and weeks, unchanged, says, you cannot win government from here. Well, you remember the similar conversations we were having in the lead up to the 2019 election, Nat. Um, people had written us off and the Australian people um, did something very different on election day. So there's still more than a week to go and I wouldn't treat these polls as gospel. Um, but the focus on the economy is where it needs to be. And our record is there for everyone to see. An unemployment rate at its equal lowest in 48 years at just 4% with the forecast that that number will come down. Australia having come out of the global pandemic and the biggest economic shock since the Great Depression, faster and stronger than all major advanced economies, and with a budget that was just delivered a matter of weeks ago, which lays out our future plans for the economy, backing small business, backing manufacturing, backing our regions as the, front, the new frontiers of economic growth, skilling up our workforce, we have the plan to take Australia forward. Labor does not. Do you think you can still win your seat? Because again, the polls say that Monique Ryan will win in a landslide. Well, I'm encouraged by the positive reaction I've had from my constituents on the pre-poll uh, in, uh, in the first few days. And it is a very clear choice. Um, I've worked hard for my local community for the last 12 years and will continue to do so going forward. At the same time, I've been the Treasurer of Australia um, during pretty tumultuous economic times and many people have come up to me on the booths and in my community, uh, reminding them how job keepers saved their small business or kept their, their family in work. Uh, and that makes a real difference. I'm up against a so-called independent who's a former long-standing member of the Labor Party who sought to conceal that political background when asked by the media uh, and, and at the same time is asking the local community for their vote but is not telling the local community how they will vote in the event of a hung parliament. They have no detailed policies on tax, no detailed policies on defence, they have no costings for their climate uh, and emissions reduction target. So, you know, you couldn't have a clearer choice for the people of Kuyong. Okay. Josh Frydenberg, we thank you. Good morning.